John Kay, Simon McCoy will be here after five with the latest on the downing of that Malaysian Airlines flight. But before all that, let's just catch up with the weather prospects and go over to Louise Lear. Hello, Louise. Afternoon. Some sunshine around today, but to where we've seen the cloud, it's been rather cool due to that northeasterly breeze, and it's been pushing in the cloud off the North Sea. It's also been producing a few showers as well. So if you've caught those, it's not been very pleasant, has it? West has been best for the sunshine, but through the night tonight, with those clearer skies, that's where we'll see those temperatures falling away. A touch of frost and some fog forming. We keep the risk of a few showers through the night, but not too bad in terms of the feel of things perhaps lows down to minus two degrees in one or two places so yet again a frosty chilly start to the morning some fog around as well but we'll have plenty of sunshine out to the west at the same time that northeasterly breeze strengthens and anywhere really from scarborough down towards that southeast corner could see some sharp heavy downpours from time to time 11 to 14 the overall high the high pressure will stay with us for the next few days but we start to see this weather front in Introducing more cloud and rain to the northwest. At the same time, we keep the threat of showers in the far southeast. More details from me in half an hour. What a day of contrast today. The west was certainly the best for sunshine. We were saying that yesterday, and here's the proof. Just look at the clearer skies here. At the same time, cloud continue to drift in off the North Sea, accompanied by a brisk northeasterly breeze. Never a warm direction, and it was responsible for a few showers. That'll continue as well through the night tonight. We keep the clearer skies to the north and west, and that means those temperatures are going to fall away quite sharply in rural parts, down to lows of minus one or minus two degrees. So we start off tomorrow with some frost, maybe some patchy fog as well. That will lift away to blue sky and sunshine yet again. At the same time, that northeasterly will strengthen, if anything, and just drive in some nuisance showers. Some of them really could be quite heavy and persistent for a time, as much as 10 to 20 mils, not out of the question. So a coolish feel on an exposed coast, highest values 11 to 14 degrees. The high just starts to ease away and allow this weather front to push in on Thursday. Could potentially introduce some cloud and outbreaks of rain into the western and the far north of Scotland as well. A few showers continue to threaten in the far southeast. Hello there. Well, for every yin, there is a yang, and we've got exactly that across Europe at the moment with low pressure focusing its attention through the Mediterranean. By contrast, high pressure, the dominant feature across northern Europe. That's quietening things down for us, but it doesn't just mean blue sky and sunshine. By contrast, the best of the sunshine today has been out to the west. But further east, with that freshening northeasterly breeze, more cloud and a few showers. Those showers will continue through the night, chiefly across East Anglia and across that Essex and Kent coast. Clearer skies to the north and west will allow those temperatures to fall away once again in towns and city centres, mid-single figures in rural spots, down to freezing or just below. Maybe some frost forming as well in the northwest away from that breeze. But we will continue with that west-east divide after the frost and fog lifts some sunshine coming through a pleasant enough day. But I suspect across North Sea coast here rather disappointing. Anywhere really stretching down through Newcastle, could continue to see that nagging northeasterly breeze taking the edge off the feel of things and also driving in further showers through the afternoon. So one or two perhaps as far inland as the East Midlands, stretching across East Anglia into parts of Hertfordshire down towards the London area. Not uh, uh, really likely to see too much in the way of showers here, but it will make it for a disappointing feel to things. So 11 or 12 on North Sea coast in the sunshine, highest values of 13 or 14 degrees. So still down a degree or so on where we should be at this time of year. The high pressure stays with us into Thursday, but we are seeing a weather front starting to push into the northwest. That will introduce more cloud and outbreaks of rain slowly but surely. And still we keep the risk of a few showers into the far southeast. Sandwich between the two, perhaps a little more cloud around on Thursday, but predominantly dry and quiet and temperatures that should improve again to highs. 11 to 14 degrees through the afternoon. Now, the story on Friday again sees the risk of more showers into that southeastern corner. Fair amount of cloud around on Friday, that weather front weakening substantially, but again, highs of around 11 to 14 Celsius. So, for the end of the week, it looks as though it's going to be largely dry. There will be some showers in the east, a lot of cloud, and still a chilly feel. Hello there. Quiet but contrasting is probably the best description for today's weather. Just look at Cumbria this afternoon. Absolutely glorious clear blue skies and sunshine. But to the other side of the Pennines, 
It was a slightly different story in the city of York. There was a lot of cloud and quite a chilly feel, all due to a northeasterly wind, which drove in some cloud as the day continued, some of it filtering further west, so spoiling the sunshine. But we kept on to some sunshine across Scotland and Northern Ireland in particular. Here we could continue to see those clearer skies, allowing temperatures to fall away and a chilly start to the day with some frost. We also keep the risk of a few showers across the northeast coast as well. So it's a similar weather pattern as we move into tomorrow. Any early morning frost and fog will lift away some sunshine, particularly in favoured western areas. That freshening northeasterly breeze still driving in some showers off North Sea coast. They should be fairly isolated, really, across the extreme northeast of England, stretching down into Lincolnshire and parts of the East Midlands. But for East Anglia, particularly down towards Essex and Kent, some of the showers could be fairly persistent and pretty intense as well throughout the afternoon, making it feel quite disappointing. But generally, temperatures sitting at around 11 to 14 degrees, so a degree or so down on where they should be still for this time of year. The high pressure starts to drift off to Scandinavia. It's going to allow this front to move into the northwest, but it's a fairly pathetic affair, really. It's going to introduce more cloud, the odd light band of showery rain. We keep the threat of showers into the southeast, sandwiched in between the two, a quieter, drier interlude, maybe the best of the sunshine in central Scotland and Northern Ireland. More cloud again for Friday, still the risk of some showers threatening off the North Sea coast and again still highs of 11 to 14 Celsius. So you're probably becoming familiar with this story by now. The high pressure not going very far at all over the next few days, even into the weekend. But at this time of year, high pressure is not necessarily straight or forward in autumn. If we get a lot of cloud around, it will feel a little cool for this time of year. Where the cloud breaks, though, that's going to allow for some morning frost and fog to form, but hopefully some sunshine. So a tricky one as we move into the weekend. We'll have more details live on the News Channel throughout the evening. Good evening. We've got a fairly benign weather pattern across the UK at the moment, but it's not without its contrast. Just take a look at today. Across the Lake Districts and parts of Cumbria, we had blue sky and sunshine. It was a beautiful afternoon, but just the other side of the Pennines, a different story. Yes, across the beautiful city of York, we had a fair amount of cloud and a rather chilly feel. And that's because a northeasterly wind was driving in cloud and it came quite considerably further inland, a disappointing 11 or 12 degrees across North Sea coast, further west where we did keep the sunshine at 15 or 16 the high. Now that cloud will linger through the night tonight, still the risk of a few isolated showers out to the east. But with some clearer skies in the northwest still continuing here, we could see a chilly night with some pockets of frost and fog. Temperatures just below freezing in one or two places. So a cold, murky start here, but elsewhere the cloud should start to break up and we'll see some sunshine coming through. But yet again, it's going to be the southeast which will see that nagging northeasterly breeze. So some showers perhaps across East Yorkshire should be a little more isolated here. One or two filtering in through Lincolnshire and into the East Midlands. But the nuisance showers are likely to be across East Anglia, down across the Essex and Kent coast. Here they could be fairly persistent throughout the afternoon. But where we see the breaks in the cloud, temperatures similar values to today really, 11 degrees on the east, 14 or 15 further south and west. Now the story doesn't really change that much. The high pressure drifts off into Scandinavia. It is going to allow this weak weather front to arrive during Thursday, just introducing a little more in the way of cloud and outbreaks of patchy rain. We keep some showers in the southeast. Sandwich in between the two, still more cloud, the best of the sunshine perhaps to the air parts of southern Scotland. Now on Friday, again a cloudier theme, always the risk of some showers continuing down through the North Sea coast. So this quiet theme continues into the weekend. The high pressure stays with us and there won't be too much in the way of change, but high pressure at this time of year can cause some issues. An autumn high can often bring some pretty cloudy weather conditions and if that continues, well, it will feel cool, particularly for the time of year. But if you get the cloud breaking up, then we could see some autumn nighttime frost and fog and hopefully that could also lead to some sunshine. So whatever your weather story is tomorrow, whatever you're doing, get out there and enjoy it. It's been a quiet story October and it looks as though the next couple of days little in the way of change. A nagging northeasterly driving in some showers uh, through the day. Further west after a chilly start with some early frost and fog the sunshine will be the story. Not a bad afternoon into Northern Ireland 12 degrees though so temperatures a little disappointing. Similar story for much of Scotland and perhaps more sunshine around 
in eastern Scotland in comparison to the last couple of days. Always the risk though along these North Sea coasts of catching a few showers. They should be fairly isolated but a little more in the way of cloud pushing in off the North Sea. Perhaps more heavier persistent showers down into Essex and Kent. Some of these could be quite heavy indeed. Now as we push further south and west a little more in the way of sunshine coming through but again those temperatures a degree or so down on where they should be for this time of year. We're looking at highs of 12, 13, possibly 14 degrees if we're lucky. Similar story for much of Wales. Now the outlook for the next couple of days similar really. So Wednesday into Thursday as you can see for our major cities a little more cloud around perhaps on Thursday to the north and a similar story further south more cloud around on Thursday always the risk of some showers along north sea facing coast. Let's take a look at that in more detail then. Thursday will keep this nagging northeasterly breeze always the risk of the showers here the best of the sunshine further north and west eventually we'll see a cloud and rain gathering into the extreme northwest of Scotland bringing the threat of some light rain as well.